Karen Bryan for M. Mejita. I'm here with Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And Stephen, the last time I saw you, you had just defeated uh, Dan Stitkin, right? Yes. We were just messing with that name, and no offense, but we both are. I, I goofed. You got it down. I goofed. But um, how did that win affect your training? What did you do after that? Did you change anything? Did you tweak anything? It was a successful night for you. Yeah, it was. I mean, the, the head kick came out of nowhere. I mean, it's one of those things that you don't expect, but it happens, you know? When you go out there and try and force a knockout, some, most of the time it doesn't happen. Or you wear yourself out trying. So, yeah, man, it was it was a good fight, and um, I just, when I got back to South Carolina, they are like, hey, you're fighting in Atlanta April 21st, so I'm like, let's do it, you know, I wasn't too banged up after that last one, so I got back in the back in the, in the gym and started training again, same old, same old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that kick now, though, is that something that we're going to try to see more? Is that going to be your, your, you know, your, uh, your, your go-to move? Oh, man, yeah, I use my kicks as jabs, but, uh, you know, it will land. Uh, you know, if it does any damage or not, but it will land, and, I, and I'll set up after, but um, you'll see a lot of kicks going on. Well, we know that you have a karate background and people have always talk about Leota Machida being one of the most famous sort of karate background guys in MMA. Do you think that it does specifically give you advantages though out when you're out there? I mean, are there are certain things that you'll you'll never feel threatened on? Um, well, there's always a there's always a threat out there. I mean, you know, anything can happen. But um, it, it's a little bit different my style and Leota, Leota Machida style. You know, our movement's a little different um, and a lot of guys in MMA aren't used to that. And the distance. You know, we keep a good distance away from our opponents and that's where we like to attack from. But um, you know, it doesn't say that we, we can't attack from the inside or, or take you down, too. So you got to watch out as well. Now, we know you amassed an amazing record in kickboxing, but your opponent, Mike Brown, doesn't really think much of that. He's kind of he's kind of dissed you a little bit, saying anybody can pat a record, essentially, right? Exactly. So, yeah, how do you feel about that? Well, you know, you know, we in the kickboxing um, world that I'm from is, is a full contact kickboxing above the waist. You know, so our styles, he's more of a Muay Thai guy, so our circles are a little different. You know, and like I don't know any of the guys that he's fought in, in Muay Thai or, or even in his amateur career, but um, so, I mean, he doesn't know what he doesn't know. You know what I mean? So. Um, that's, that was my basic style, was above the waist kickboxing. He does Muay Thai, which are different. I mean, it's still a combat sport, but totally different. Have you seen Tyrone Spong here? Oh, yeah. That guy is phenomenal. <laughs> he's, he's right there. I mean, I was I'm like, this guy's amazing. And I love to watch him fight. He's a beast. Right. So, so do you wonder, though, is there going to come a time when you're going to, I know you train with your family and your dad, you know, but everybody speaks of you, the future of the welterweight division, this, that, the other thing. Is there going to come a time when you're going to want to go dabble and look at some of these other camps and see what you can get? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, Upstate Karate and Team Pitch Black is always going to be my main camp, but um, training area. But, you know, for this fight, I was down in, in uh, Florida training with Rashad at Imperial Athletics. I spent about a week and a half there. I was up in Dallas with my, with my brother-in-law. Um, I do like to spend a lot of time in, in TriStar in, in Montreal, Canada. I didn't get to make it down there at this time. I just had a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, I mean, even right now, I'm still dabbling in other places. You know what I mean? But I would say Karate will always be my home. Well, speaking of TriStar, one day would we maybe see you and Rory McDonald together? Uh, you know what? Right now, we're at totally different ends of the spectrum. You know, I'm just an up-and-comer, and he's been in the game for a long time, even though he's very young. Um, but the guy's a monster, man. And we're good friends. And uh, But you know, I don't know what the future brings, but um, you know, Hopefully that will be, you know, down the line and and but you know, he's a good buddy of mine. Nice. All right, well, congratulations on your success so far and now uh, we're wishing you good luck on Saturday night. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.